Next setting is the shutter speed. Shutter speed is the setting responsible for capturing movement. Fast shutter speed can freeze movements that can often lead to extraordinary details that the human eye wouldn't normally catch. A slow shutter speed, on the other hand, will create a motion blur in a moving subject. This effect gives life to the movement. If the aperture is like the pupil in a human eye, then the camera shutter is like an eyelid. Light can only enter while it's open. The shutter speed refers to the length of time that this shutter is open for allowing light to fall onto the camera sensor in order to create an exposure. Shutter speed is measured in seconds or, more often, in fractions of a second. For example, when you see 1 over 400 or 400 in your settings, it means that the shutter is open for 1 over 400 of a second. That is a really fast shutter speed. A fast shutter speed can capture movement, however, less light enters your camera. This is why the other two settings, aperture and ISO, are very important. Opposite to fast shutter speed is a slow shutter speed. When you see a double quotation mark after the number, for example, Four. This means that the shutter is open for a whole 4 seconds, which is a longer period of time, so more light enters the camera. This is ideal for low light conditions if you want a brighter image, but you need a tripod if you want a sharp image because even the tiniest movement can result in motion blur. To show an example, here are photos using slow and fast shutter speeds. In the first photo, I wanted to freeze the moment when the honey fabulously fell into the soap, while in the second photo, I wanted to create motion blur. In the first photo, I set the shutter speed to 1 over 400 of a second. It is a fast shutter speed that will let you capture motion. In the second photo, I set the shutter speed to 1 over 30th of a second, which is a slower shutter speed. It lets in more light and allows for a brighter image, but anything that's moving can result in motion blur. I know you still have lots of buttons on your camera that need demystifying, so I created a whole class especially for that. You can access this class plus 35,000 classes taught by amazing creators and photographers around the world starting with a one month free. I added the 30 days free link in the description below. My top tip is to learn one setting at a time. I use manual mode 90% of the time and I encourage you to really practice it. But if ever it gets overwhelming, start with the priority modes. Decide what your creative priority for the photograph is. Is it the magical blur or the freezing of time? From there, you can choose which priority mode to shoot on. Observe the settings that your camera chooses to match your setting to familiarize yourself. From here, you can slowly but surely ease into manual mode where you set the aperture, shutter speed, and ISO yourself. Before you know it, operating your camera and shooting in manual mode is second nature to you. That is it for this video. If you have any questions or if you tried any of these tips, please comment below. If you want to request a video or any photography-related tutorial, just let me know through the comment section too. That's the thing, my channel is very small, so let's take advantage of our intimate community. You can help me too by liking and subscribing, plus you'll be the first to know when I upload photography videos and tutorials. I hope you enjoyed all of that and I hope to see you in my other videos. Bye!